Hey guys, Natalie Kerwin here for the 313. Now that we can stop taking a look at everyone's mock drafts, it's time for me to take stock in what the Lions got. Starting with pick number two, edge rusher Aiden Hutchinson, the hometown guy from the University of Michigan, looking to make an immediate impact. Brad Holmes said he would be aggressive for a guy he really wanted, and he showed this by trading up and drafting wide receiver from Alabama, Jamison Williams, at number 12. This guy's got wheels if you haven't seen his college tape. On to the later rounds, mostly on the defensive side of the ball. Josh Pascal, or JP as he likes to be called, a defensive end out of Kentucky, and Brad Holmes and Dan Campbell rave about this guy's character. Next, Kirby Joseph, safety out of Illinois. And on to James Mitchell, a tight end out of Virginia Tech. This guy's got a basketball background too, and he's supposedly one of the best blocking tight ends coming out of this draft. Now back to defense, Malcolm Rodriguez, a linebacker from Oklahoma State. This guy's an athlete, a 4.5240 time and a 39 and a half inch vertical. Man, that's pretty ridiculous. James Houston, the third defensive end chosen by the Lions in this draft. And this guy's got a great nickname. His last name's Houston, and they call him the Problem. Get it? Get it? Houston, we got the Problem? All right, that, that guy's got the best nickname in my book. And the Lions' final pick in round seven, Chase Lucas, a cornerback from Arizona State. The consensus so far is that the Detroit Lions did really well in this year's draft. Eight picks covering a lot of the team's needs, especially on defense. There's a lot of young talent to look out for too as the team heads into OTAs later this month.